Unless you live under a rock or you just don't listen to music these days or you just a smart ass and you need to pretend like you don't know who he is. Uh, XX Tentacion was actually murdered yesterday in Miami, Florida. And a lot of people are taking his death in different ways. Uh, they're a very diverse reaction to it. Some people think he faked his death. Some people feel like Drake is involved. Some people feel like it's an Illuminati sacrifice. You know, some people are saying it should have been Takashi 69. And here's my take on it. I see a young man the same age as me that was taken out before he even hit the prime in his life. And I don't feel like anything he did in his past you know, should justify him being murdered. I know he was a celebrity, so a lot of people are dehumanizing him based upon the fact that they don't know him personally. But think about his mother or his family members. Think about when they got that phone call. Imagine you, imagine if you were in this situation. People were like, he's a celebrity, we don't know him and all that type of stuff. But what happens when somebody you know personally dies, like a family member? What do people do as soon as one of their friends or family members get sent to prison or they get booked or something the first thing people always do is go to social media and post a picture of them. you want people to care about you and i guess have some type of uh, you just want people to care right but when you're not in that situation you don't have the same type of energy i think like that's very selfish of a lot of people and i know a lot of people saying that same shit you listen to famous dex you listen to nba young boy I mean, I seen, I still seen a lot of women support Fabulous after what happened with him. I mean, a lot of you motherfuckers still listen to R. Kelly. And I don't have to go off or, or talk about what he's known for. So, I don't, I don't get it with people. And here's another thing. You guys talk about all these rappers and all that type stuff. And some of them actually done way worse and way more heinous and disrespectful shit than anything y'all talking about you know or putting him down for but you guys love to listen to this type of music and today really do these types of things rappers talk about shooting and killing other innocent black males or just black males in general and then when they really kill people or somebody really gets hurt behind this shit then you guys want to be like we gotta do better this isn't right and all that but when you were listening to that shit it was cool right y'all listen to these motherfuckers disrespect women all the time talk about bitches and hoes and all of that but when they really get you know get revealed to be putting their hands on females or if you see something you don't like that they do in uh, public or like future or something they cheat on their girlfriend or something oh man ain't shit and blah 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 but you were just bumping your head today you were just listening to that to the song so what I'm saying is, if he really is all that, and that's what we're just going to limit him to, and we're going to pretend like he didn't touch so many people through his music and he didn't get love off of that, let's not pretend like he didn't do a lot more good than harm than a lot of people are making it out like he did. Besides trying to buy a motorcycle, he was actually in Florida for a charity. You know, and I hear a lot of people who listen to his music say that you know he helps them like with depression and all types of social anxiety and things like that and plus let's not forget this let's look at somebody like malcolm x let's say he had got killed at 20 years old i mean look at he was living his life you don't know what type of person someone is going to become i'm 20 right now i could be a way part i'll be a way different person by the time i'm 30 and 40. You don't know what people are capable of, better choices. And I think he realized that his fan base and all the attention and love and support he was getting, that he had to use that in a more positive way. And he had to use his music to reach out and touch people. As far as him faking his death and all that, yeah, of course, if you're a big fan of him and you love his music, you love him as a person, of course you're gonna think he fakes his death. You're gonna look for any indication or any sign that it's not real. Every everybody watching this, including me, when somebody dies, somebody you love, somebody you know personally, of course you're not gonna think it's real at first. Of course you're gonna be skeptical about it. It's part of the grieving process, denial. Think about it like this. I'm not comparing him to Tupac or anybody. Who knows if he if he had survived, maybe he would have been a legend. People to this day, you can't tell certain Michael Jackson fans shit. You can't tell Tupac and Biggie fans shit. They weren't murdered. Tupac is in Brazil and all types of you know conspiracy theories and shit like that 
But of course people are gonna be in denial about it. I mean, I don't know everything. Shit, what if he did fake his death? If he did, I mean, that's kind of fucked up to trick so many people. But I mean, I feel like he's really dead. There's nothing we can do about it, so. I don't know how some of these other people was raised, but this is how I was raised. If you don't have anything nice to say, shut the fuck up. Because a lot of people misunderestimate the power of the tongue. The words you speak out can become your own reality. If you focus on negativity, negativity is going to come back to you. If you speak out righteous and positive things, that's what's going to be around you in your life. So for all of these people that are saying... Uh, he deserves to die. Why should we care and all the type of stuff? Just remember your words when somebody you know close to you that wasn't perfect like everybody else something happens to them I mean people really exaggerate this dude like he was Ike Turner or he was like some type of mad serial killer People are looking past all the nice or positive things He's done to bring people together through his music you shouldn't have to be a fan of someone You know to speak out condolences or speak positivity out on someone's name when they pass I mean, things affect people in different ways. Again, I wasn't a fan of them. However, I saw a young black male just like myself who rose from poverty and he did it without trying to hurt anybody, without trying to take anything from anyone. He did it through the power of his own music, his own art. And he was cut down short, you know, before he even saw the prime of his life. Again, this dude wasn't even 21. Some people don't even consider you an adult unless you at least like, you know, your mid 20s. What happened to him wasn't fair. Unless he did something, you know, bogus behind the scenes that caused his death, which I seriously doubt it, he was murdered. And if you feel like because he put his hands on a female before or he, whatever he did in jail, again, I, I'm not judging him. I'm not thinking about this type of stuff, but a lot of people are. If you bring that up and you use that as an excuse to justify the murder of a 20 year old man you're a damn hypocrite and you're no better than anything he's ever done if you're using something his past to justify putting negativity on his name you're a hypocrite so r.i.p xx tentacion